Hello, people. I am Jabby Kway, joined by Jennifer, the son, the bell, and Achara is a Kirk. We're looking at Voice of Nagaland as one. So, uh, this came out a couple years ago, four years ago. And, oh God, is it four years? Well, three and a half, three and ish. Three and some change. Woo! And um, this is from Zhang Zhang Zeliang Naga. So, here we go. Okay, go. Okay. Tribes and communities that coexist in Nagaland. Okay. Hello. You know, where your princess now. Wow, okay. Thank you. 
emotional at one point for some reason I don't know why like just seeing all the people together well, I don't know yeah. there's yeah. so many like first of all I didn't even realize that there was this amount of diversity diversity yeah. just yeah. within that one region the thing is a lot of the time when you think of India right you think of a very specific look yeah but what you fail to realize is there are actually a lot of people who identify as Indians who don't, don't like, look, look like, like that. what yeah. we are accustomed to seeing on screens. Exactly. And yeah. so it's so nice to be exposed to that and see within that all of the different cultures and different tribes Absolutely. and different groups of people. Yeah. But the idea behind it being we are one, yeah. which is such a lovely, lovely message. Always. It kind of blows my mind how much of India hasn't really been shown to the world. Yeah. I mean, you know? yeah. It's, I, I'm super blown. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. The costumes as well, and just how different each one is, and mm -hmm. just the sense of like, oh yeah, there are still people who live in tribes, mm -hmm. and then that's part of their community. Indigenous and everything. You know? When you were uh, speaking just a second ago, it made me think about how people think of America, where it's like, when people think of America, they think of like Los Angeles and New York, and they must be like a couple streets apart from each other, right? Like, because yeah. people don't realize how big America yeah. is. Or it's, they think it's just like white people. Right. Which right. is yeah. like yeah. maybe a few mm. ethnic minorities, right. like maybe some black people or and whatever. So I, th I think that likewise, that's what's happened here, which is like, you just don't realize how densely diverse India is. Like, mm -hmm. I, I was shocked when I like, arrived. it's huge, too, though. Like, like, yeah. yeah. Well, when I arrived, I mean, I wasn't even going to anywhere like this, but, like, I was seeing faces where I'm like, that's Indian? That's crazy to me. Like, yeah. that, that's, that would, that's an Indian person. Because, right. like, in your brain growing up, especially in Western culture with Hollywood and whatnot, like, you're informed of a certain 
look. And that's just not what it is. I mean, that's not representative at all of what there is in India. Right. I think is Nagaland up in the northeast and that's where they're close to China. So there is that uh, Asian. I was hearing some interesting Asian sounds Asian. in the language. There were some l sounds that reminded me of like Chinese. The yeah. one that said Ao, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounded like Chinese. And then there was one that started with a K that sounded like Tagalog. Uh, yeah. And then another one sounded like Thai or Vietnamese to me. Like, I know there's it's got, not, there's, but there's like. There's so many. There's, I mean, same thing. Like, we don't know what was like, who occupied what at what time yeah. and like the influences that stayed and didn't you know what I'm saying yeah right. yeah totally um, so. the Punjabi one sort of had its own sound that it owned the song for a second yeah in a way that the other ones didn't as well as one later on I have to I go like, through the, it again yeah like the Rajasthan there was one a, there was one girl that she sang and it was very different yeah um, yeah. yeah I'm gonna find it I forget she had like the red you're talking about the girl with the red around her ear it was like a red oh, oh. oh the, Nepal, the Nepali no it wasn't no, Nepali that's it was so Ao sounded Mandarin to me in a way. Oh, maybe it wasn't Ao. Maybe it was something else. Oh, that is Ao. That R sound. Yeah, that, that R. R. That, that's, that's a very reminiscent of, of oh, Mandarin, Mandarin to me. Yeah. yeah, totally. It was the guy you said was like really getting into it. That's the one that sounded mm. like Filipino to me. Yeah, he had like a green top or something. Oh, this girl's voice is beautiful. That's when I started to like feel it. It was just so bizarre. Yeah. She had a very like soothing voice. Soft, yeah. yeah, it was just such a nice showcase of all the different languages and dialects and cultures as well. This Kachari, guy? that's the one that sounded like yeah. Tagalog to me. Like, he almost kind of looks like. Yeah, he looks like, having, like he could be Filipino. Having grown up yeah. around like a lot of Filipinos in Catholic school, you know, that's what you encounter a lot of. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can hear that. And he then, was well into it too. Oh, good. He, I mean, he had the hands, too. He was all like... Yeah. The guy with, like, the perm, too. He was, like, super, like, R&B. I loved it. it that girl can sing. Oh, is that who you were thinking of, Sumi? No, no, no. I was not thinking of her, but she she can sing. Like, she's that's why she did all the belty stuff. The point being is that it's not just the faces that are diverse, but the sounds. The sounds, yeah. yeah the voices. I think this just is a lesson, though, like... There's always more to what we know, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And as humans, we always have to be learning and be open to receiving new knowledge and just experiencing the world. There's so much that like is not being experienced. The thing that kind of caught me off guard was actually the look of the Nepalese woman. Mm -hmm. Because like, even I think Nepal itself is so diverse because- Within Nepal, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Within Nepal, because like in my mind, I never know what to expect whenever someone tells me they're Nepal because like sometimes they look like they could be Punjabi or they could look more Chinese or yeah. whatever. It's like, cause it's, it's right on that border, so. Yeah, cause I have a couple friends from school who are from Nepal. Paul, but they look more stereotypically Indian, like mm. what we think of when we think of Indian. But then you see other Nepali people and they look like they could have Chinese blood. It's just so interesting, the diversity within the country. But the Bengali guy, for some reason, made me smile too. I don't know why, like, I just like, the sound of his voice was really, really well, nice. Well, it was really different as well because a lot of people had more of a belty quality, whereas his was much softer. I didn't even know Bihari. I'm like, I've never heard, well, you know, there were so many that I've not yeah. heard of here. I think this Yumchinger one kind of caught me off guard because it was, it was so, such a vibrance. Oh, yeah. yeah. Reminded yeah. me of Mandarin as well. A little oh, really. bit. It almost sounded like pop to me. It was so fascinating. Just yeah. like in the middle of this very tribalistic sounding music. It was pretty cool. I'm ready to sing with them when they sing in English at the end. Ladies, yeah. What? It's like just to, just to, you know, we're going to keep cap it all off and we'll sing it in English so you, maybe you guys can understand too. Again, like just to reiterate, like just the diversity of sound is so cool. Just overall, just like the music was beautiful and like it's very anthemic. Thong cool. That's the one. Well, even the name. name when I saw the name, I was like, oh, that sounds like it could be Thai. Oh, Never mind. I don't know what I was thinking. No, it doesn't no. sound Thai. No, but I don't know what I was thinking. I, it's not that one. I just can't find it anymore. Like, I tried to remember it in the moment because I, I knew the talking points I wanted to make, and then it just, like... Yeah. <laughs> so, not everything's... Well, it's also, there was, I mean, like... There was so, so many. many. But, but I did think she sounded so beautiful. I mean, it, it all sounded very yeah, nice, and like beautiful. it all came together nice, but like obviously you're gonna have your standout 
people, right? And I thought she was a standout voice. Like she, yeah. like it was just such a beautiful resonance. She does something with her, like seems like a little like flutter that's like really, really cool. And they're all holding hands and dancing. I mean, it's yeah. just like that very kumbaya feeling, but without yeah. without the like sacri without the sacredness yeah. of it. Yeah, the just, children. It just feels yeah, the world. yeah, it just feels genuine. And I I don't know, I liked it a lot. I couldn't tell the difference between who was a performer and who was just real. Yeah, right. You know, no, that's true. I thought that was cool. Uh, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Yeah. We're gonna close this out before I start crying for no apparent reason. And uh, Jennifer <laughs> Sundell, follow her on the social media, follow Chark Kirk, subscribe if you haven't already, have not already, can't yeah. speak anymore. I need to eat. And uh, <laughs> ring that, uh, ring that, Jennifer can't, what the hell, words. Food, ring that Jennifer Sunbell. That's what I wanna say. Yes. Icon. That's what I wanna say. The Sunbell icon. Ring the uh, Jennifer Sunbell. And uh, this way you get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, vlogs, interviews. I'm Jabby Kway. This is Jennifer Sunbell and a Charker. Peace out.